Hey guys, welcome back to Crystal Bricks and welcome back to the video you have all been waiting for. And today I will be announcing the winner of the mock competition. So before I get into any details of who's won, I would like to thank my collaborator for this project who is SP Studs. As always, his channel will be in the description of this video down below. Now, before I show the winner, I'd like to give a huge thanks to everybody who entered the competition. Thanks so much for your builds. I really enjoyed looking through them all. And then also, judging will be out of 5, so it'll be from 0 to 5. So, the first thing how this video is going to work is we're going to go from the 5th place to the number 1 build. And also, remember that all these channels will be in the description down below if you'd like to check them out. So, at number 5, we have the Venator. This build is by Pashti Armin and finished in 5th place. So, next, I'll be going into the ranking how he scored and why he got this place. So the first thing is details. For details, we gave him a 3.5. And then for technique, he got a three. For color usage, he got a 3.5. For story, it was a 0 0.5. And motorization was a two because he had lights. So in total, he scored a 12.5. And I won't be going too much into the detail of this because that would take forever. Also, I'd like to say, I really like the usage of lights. I think this takes the build to the next level and I thought that was a really good feature. Next in fourth place is is Ultra Pam Creations with his Last Stand mock. This scored 3.5 for detail, 3.5 for technique, 2.5 for color, 4 for story, 0 for motorization, and had a total of 13.5. So what I'd like to say about this is you may be thinking, well, the other build was so much bigger. I just want to remember that every, that we are judging not by size, but by detail. Also tied in fourth place is, is Republic Bricks 333 and, and his 501st clone base. So for this build, it scored 3.5 in detail, 3 for technique, four, 3 for colors, 4 for story, and 0 for motorization, with a total of 13.5. Some things I would like to point out for this build is I really like the detail that he used for the landscape and also in the battle. Another cool feature was in the back he had a uh, area where he was storing stud shooters which was really cool and looked amazing. The next build which scored in thir third place is by Jack the Lego Maniac and he has the Ninjago Spinner build. This is a really cool build because it added motorization. So he scored 3 for detail, 3 for technique. 3 for color, 3 for story, and 2 for motorization, with a total of 14. Some things I really liked about this build was the little sign that he made in the front. That was just a really cool added detail. And then also another cool feature was that his spinner did spin, and I have a little clip of that right now. In second place for the competition is ND Brick Productions. This is a Citadel mock from the Clone Wars. So for him, he scored 3.5 for detail, 3.5 for technique, 3 for color, 4.5 for story, and 0 for motorization, with a total of 14.5. Some cool features about this is that the door did slide, it had to be manually, but that was still a cool feature. And also in the back, he had some really cool mini figures along with Jar Jar Binks that was kind of stuck in ice. That was another cool feature that I really liked. And then also there's a control panel. In the front there was some other cool features. And also I really liked his build that he used. His spider droid. I'm not 100% sure what it was. But that build was really cool. And then in the full version of the build. He has some really cool mini figures. Including some. Which a Captain Rex very rare mini figure. Some, some 212 troopers. And some other cool mini figures. And also I really liked the waterfall in the front. Also finishing in second, tied with ND Brick Productions, is Gizmoto. This build is, this is his build of a clone duel. So for this build, it scored 4 for detail, 4 for technique, 3.5 for color, 3 for story, 0 for motorization, with a total of 14.5. Some really cool features about this build were the mini figures he decided to use. He had one of the old Power Fresh Troopers. And I think this build was really unique, and that's what really made it look cool. I think that may, that we didn't really understand, though, was the extra mini fear. He could have been from battle or something, but it didn't really have much of a story for him. 
next build is going to be the champion, which you've all been waiting for. So, the first thing I'd like to say before that, though, is there will be another contest coming in November. If you guys are interested in that, I suggest that you do stay tuned. And then, and then also, I have a Patreon, if you guys are interested in that, where there are exclusive LEGO auctions for all the members. So, if you are interested in that, too, the link will be in the description. So, now that we've talked about all of that, drumroll please, for the winner... And the winner is Nathan X Gaming with his Jack in the Beanstalk build. So the reason he won this is because of the detail and we really like the microscale build. So like always, I'll tell you the score. He scored 4 for detail, 4 for technique, 3.5 for color, 3.5 for story, 0 for motorization with a total of 15. So he only won by 0.5. Some things we really liked about this were the houses, they were really clear to tell. Also he used a mini mini figure, like I'm not sure what they're called, but th that was another cool addition. And then also I really liked the way that he kept the house up without it just collapsing. So if tell me what you guys thought of this build, uh, this is the winner. So if you are watching this video, Nathan X Gaming, in the description of this video there will be an email that you can contact it. Contact me and receive your prize. So that's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching. Stay tuned because another mock competition will be coming soon and also stop motion contest. So if you are interested in that or other stuff, I do suggest you subscribe. So that's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching and I hope to see you in the next one.